Today's video is all about iMessages and let me tell you if you are only using WhatsApp Messenger you are missing out on some serious cool features. With the latest updates in iOS 18 and iPadOS 18, iMessages has gone from a basic text app to a powerhouse of communication tool. So in this video I am going to take you through some of the best iMessages tips and tricks that will completely change the way you use your iPhone or iPad. Trust me by the end of this video you will be using iMessages a lot more. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with something that's been a long time coming, RCS messaging. For those who don't know, RCS stands for Rich Communication Services. It's a major upgrade from basic SMS that we have all had to use when texting Android users. The green bubble Android messaging experience has not been great until now. With iOS 18, you can now send RCS based messages to your Android friends and it's a game changer. This means you can now send high quality photos, large file attachments and even audio messages. Messages. Plus, you will get red notifications, which is something we have all wished for when texting across platforms. To enable this, go to Settings, Apps, Messages, RCS Messaging. Once it's on, you will notice that your text field says Text Message RCS when chatting with an Android user. Next up, let's talk about scheduling messages. Have you ever wanted to send a birthday greeting right at midnight, but you knew you would be asleep? Or maybe you want to remind someone of something important at a specific time? With iOS 18, you no longer need third-party apps to do this. You can schedule messages directly within iMessages. It's so simple. Just open a conversation, tap the plus icon and select send later. From there, you pick the date and time you want the messages to go out. Once confirmed, the message will be marked with a send later label and you're all set. At the exact time, your message will be sent automatically. This is so convenient and it's something that really enhances the functionality of iMessages. I love this feature because I often remember to wish my friends on their birthdays a couple of days before, but it slides out of my mind on the day. So this is a really cool feature, whether it's for work or personal life, scheduling messages can really help you stay on top of things. Animate and format your text. Sometimes regular text doesn't cut it. You want to add a little flair to your messages, right? Well, iMessages lets you animate and format the text in ways that makes your messages stand out. Check this out. Highlight the text that you want to format. Now click on text effects. Now you will see options like bold, italic, underline, strike through, etc. Below that, you can see these fun little animations you can choose from like shake, ripple and explode. I can select the jitters to show some tension or big to stress out something important. Cool, isn't it? But wait. The fun doesn't stop here. When you long press on the send option here, you will have more options like few animations under bubble like invisible link where the text will be shown like this when sent and the other person can touch and magically reveal it. The next option here is gentle, the next one is loud and then slam. Under screen, you will get this effect of filling the screen with the text you are about to send. This is perfect for when you want to emphasize a point or just want to have a little fun with your messages. This is one of those features that really makes messaging more personal and engaging. Whether you are sending a congratulatory message or just having fun with friends, these text effects are a great way to express yourself. Respond with emoji or stickers using tab back. We all love reacting to messages with a quick thumbs up or heart, but iMessages now takes that to a step further. With iOS 18, you can now use any emoji or sticker as your tap back response. Just press and hold on a message, tap the grey smiley icon and you will see a whole range of emojis and stickers to choose from. This lets you personalize your reactions but WhatsApp already has this feature. It's a small feature, but it makes a big difference in how you interact with messages. I find this especially fun in group chats where you can add a little more personality to your reactions. Safety of our loved ones is something we all care about and iMessages has a feature that helps you stay connected with your loved ones. It's called check-in and it's perfect for letting someone know when you have arrived at your destination. To use this, make sure share my location is enabled in settings. Then in a conversation, tap the plus icon, choose more, 
click on check in and now you can set it up by clicking on edit you can choose to send a notification when you reach a specific place or after a certain amount of time it's a great feature especially for those who travel alone or want to make sure someone knows they have arrived safely i found this feature incredibly useful not just for the peace of mind but also for staying connected with family when i'm on the go it's something that whatsapp just doesn't offer making i messages a more comprehensive tool clean up your verification codes automatically we all know how annoying it is to have your inbox cluttered with one time verification codes with ios 18 i messages can automatically delete these codes after they have served their purpose keeping your messages clean and organized to ensure this go to settings general autofill and passwords under verification codes toggle on delete after use once activated you will never have to manually delete these codes again it's a simple feature but it adds a lot of convenience especially if you are someone who frequently uses two factor authentication this is such a time saver for me and really helps keep my message history clean we have all said things that we wish we could take it back right Well, iMessages now has you covered with the ability to edit and unsend messages. If you have made a typo or just send the wrong message, you can now edit it within 15 minutes of sending. Simply press and hold on the message, select edit, make your changes and the updated message will replace the original one. But if you need to completely unsend a message, you can do that too. Just press and hold then choose the undo send. This feature is available for up to 2 minutes after sending the messages. These features give you a level of control that's really reassuring. Whether it's fixing a small mistake or retracting a message entirely. Last but not the least, let's talk about mentions. If you are in more group chats, it's easy to miss important messages. But with iMessages, you can now use mention feature to stay in the loop even if you have muted the conversation. To activate it, go to settings, messages, scroll down, enable notify me under mentions now if someone directly mentions you in a group chat you will get a notification even if the conversation is muted it's a small feature but it makes managing group chats so much easier finally ios 18 introduces messages via satellite for the times when cellular and wifi connections aren't available with the help of iphone satellite capabilities messages via satellite automatically prompts users to connect to their nearest satellite right from the messages app to send and receive texts emojis and tap backs over i messages and sms so when you have no network or you're lost you will get a notification or with dynamic island users will always know that they are connected to a satellite we recently went camping in the olympic national park and we had no network for at least 20 miles radius so i used the satellite messaging to inform my family about the situation so it works this is a perfect feature for safety and this is going to be my personal favorite so with that i'm going to end it here let me know which is your favorite i messages feature if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family who needs to know this and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech videos thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one this is anjana bye bye